Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. This is a palm nailer, specifically a pneumatic palm nailer by Metabo HPT. And in case you're not familiar, it's meant to drive nails up to three and a half inch long framing nails in tight spaces like those between wall studs where you normally wouldn't have room to swing a hammer. And given its footprint, yeah, palm is a befitting size name for it. Now this is a cordless version of the same tool from Milwaukee, their M12 line, and I gotta say I wasn't expecting the size of this thing. Sure, it works one-handed all the same to drive nails as seen here. They both do adequately, but palm sized, this one's more on the palm plus fingers plus fingertips side of things. Now, if you haven't seen before, on our air hammer testing series, we have a dyno rig just for this type of hammering action, though usually for much more heavy duty tools. And that should be just the ticket for seeing what the power looks like between these two types of tools. But the existence of palm nailers like these two and the size disparity between them highlights something air can do very well, and that's have its power source sort of remote, maybe 50 feet away from you. In this model, only the hammer mechanics inside need to be built around such a tool. Whereas on cordless, every time you're buying a tool, you're paying for but also having to fit its brushless motor power source inside of that tool. So when you shrink down a tool as small as it can go down to its bare essentials, like a palm sized tool here, that size difference becomes more dramatic between air and cordless. So that made me think, why not a palm impact wrench? Sure, butterfly impacts of old are something similar, but they are larger. They're always weak sauce too, and that throttle on the tool can be a bit sketchy in cramp spaces when you accidentally are going wide open throttle pinched up against something. So it wasn't rocket science. Astro Pneumatic makes an 1832 right angle impact that we've tested with a tiny head. Lop off the handle, add a double swivel ended hose, then a remote throttle, and Bob's your uncle. I made a prototype, showed Astro, and said they should make one, and boom, here you are, Astro's 1830 and 1831 half inch and 3 8 inch palm impacts, which are a thing now. If you Google it, this is pretty much what you're going to find. To clarify, while I work on tools and testing such as on this one, I'm in no way compensated by this tool selling well or not selling well, and haven't discussed the making of this video with anyone outside of TTC. Now, of course, this isn't going to be your go-to impact wrench. Lug nuts are not going to be its bread and butter. Obviously, cramp spaces are going to be what it does best at. If you're thinking this thing might look a bit sketchy to use, it's important to remember impacting tools are reactionless, unlike a power ratchet that will grab and force your hand forward. You can hold onto this tool with as little as two fingers. But with a head under three and a half inches, this definitely falls into an honest palm size category that cordless, at least with current tech, would have a hard time replicating due to air sort of cheating with a massive high voltage compressor being its remote power source. Another thing cool with this is even though it's based on the 1832 nano right angle impact rated at 415 foot pounds, as it turns out, routing a 3 8 flex hose direct into the head of this tool, along with designing its remote throttle with high flow ports, resulted in some unexpected additional beans, meaning this one's rated for 445 instead of 415. The idea behind a tool like this is if your arm and balled up hand can access a bolt on a car, then so likely this tool's head and hose can as well. Just make sure there's enough room behind that tool's head for the bolt's length to unthread so you don't make yourself a hand engine block type sandwich, though you could just hold it from the sides. All right, let's get into it already. First, some unsettled business with these palm nailers. Honestly, we were quite curious how they would register on our air hammer rig. First up is the Metabo HPT because it felt quite peppy. Thirteen hundred and thirteen psi. That's more than we expected for just some nails. This thing felt pretty violent in person. Okay, next up is the M12 palm nailer, which is cordless. One thousand fifty six, not quite as much, and nearly a third down from the Metabo, but much less violent too. Probably has to do with the mass of the Metabo being so low, equal opposite forces and all. And we're up against steel, not some soft wood. You have to keep that in mind. That ten fifty six though, still about on par with a Dewalt medium barrel air hammer, which was frankly pretty pitiful when we tested it. So you can't be mad about that. Just for our own curiosity's sake, it was cool to see this air versus cordless difference on these nailers, though. 
Okay, as for this impact now, not really sure what category this one falls into, so we're just gonna pit it against all the models we were curious about. The original 1832 right angle air impact, the highest performing cordless right angle impact we've tested, the Cobalt, which is made for tight spaces as well, and the Dual Atomic, which is close to as small as it gets in cordless, but mainly it has the most torque per inch of length among all the cordless in our stubby class of impact rankings. Here's the Cobalt versus the Air model and the DeWalt Atomic in our five second working torque test. So 165, 189, and 233. The advantage of Air when shrunken down to these sizes is starting to show here a bit already. And here's the new Palm Nano Impact. Two fifty eight over two thirty three. That peak difference not telling the whole story on the curve as of yet. We'll learn more on our longer runs where airflow difference usually dictates things a bit more heavily. And again, this is it removing two hundred seventy five foot pounds. What that looks like. And in case you're curious, here's what the three eighths model looks like against the half inch model. It's pretty much the same. We didn't see anything too significant on the day between them, which is pretty par for the course from many brands nowadays. Next is our 10 second max torque test in reverse. Here's the Atomic taking on the other two again. Two hundred and fifty nine foot pounds from the DeWalt now and catching up quite nicely versus the air right angle. And here's the chain flail looking impact wrench. Two hundred and ninety six foot pounds, an increase, but not a huge one, which given the size of this tool isn't all that surprising to me. At higher pressure, we do see flow start to matter a bit more like in our 15 second best case scenario test done at 150 PSI static line pressure. Here's one last look at the palm impact versus the rest. Three hundred fifty eight foot pounds and a nice little bump up in its peak potential. Just sort of enjoy the idea of this little impact wrench comparable to the size of a generously portioned meatball putting out this kind of number and injecting all that pressure full bore directly into the impact head. No internal passageways to bottleneck that air fitting you're using. It's kind of cool. Let's stop by the rank chart and see how it looks. And this is the right angle impact rank chart because honestly not really sure where else this guy belongs. And unsurprisingly, it scores very similarly to the current top ranked impact I originally hacked up to make my own one of these which by the way made about 295 to 300 because I fabbed together one with a quarter inch hose and throttle from an air bottle jack. It made more here, which helps it here, and 81%, which is very similar to the 82 here for the specific Skidmore process Astro uses to rate tools. And it's hurt a bit here for a higher price due to CNCing a billet of steel for each tool being more costly than injection molding for thermoplastic nylon handles at a time. But that totals 315.7, putting it atop for now. I know, big surprise that a tool I was involved with scored well in a point system that I came up with, right? You gotta consider the source, I imagine. This soap on the rope isn't gonna tackle everything. It's not gonna budge a Honda crank bolt, and even some caliper bolts that a V2 nano impact can take off, and perhaps a Makita compact can. This wouldn't quite get there, but engine accessories on front wheel drive cars, differentials, bell housings without using three feet of extensions and the odd caliper bracket bolt here and there. Really just stuff you wouldn't have thought to use an impact on before. Chuck this little guy in there and ugga dugga away. I appreciate you joining us for this one. We make episodes at least every Friday and thanks for watching.